Using family photos is so fun and so incredibly rewarding. But the first thing I want to tell you is if you've got something like this beautiful photo of my Auntie Dawn, uh, vintage photo, do not put this on your gel plate. Warning, warning, warning. <laughs> warning, Will Robinson. Don't put any photos on your gel plate. They will stick forever and you'll just cry and you won't be able to get it off. You'll wreck your photo, you'll wreck your gel plate. So don't put your photo on the gel plate. Uh, what you want to do is take a photo or scan your photo. So I've got this beautiful little one here. I took a photo of it and I put it on my computer and it looks like this. Gorgeous, sepia tone, vintage photo. It's probably 70 years old, this photo. Step one, you need to have a digital image of the photo you want to use. Now, if you're of a younger generation, you will probably only have digital images, but some of us in the more mature category actually have photos. So you want to either take a photo or scan them so you have a digital copy, put it on your computer or your phone. What you're going to need to do is have a tweak of your vintage photos to make them more successful for the image transfer process. There are two most important components of transferring an image on the gel plate. Number one is the amount of paint and number two is the quality of the print. So if you have a beautiful photo like this vintage one of my Auntie Dawn, First of all, you're going to need to turn it to black and white. It's very simple. I used a basic photo program on my computer and made it into this black and white version. Then you need to increase the contrast because a successful image transfer works with strong contrast areas of light and dark. I personally get my photos printed out at the office stationery because it's only a five minute walk away. I print my images out in color, even if the photo is black and white, because it works better for my image transfers. Now, there's a lot of ways of doing image transfers. There's not one way to rule them all. So you will need to try and experiment with the materials you have and the things that you're going to use. You might have your own laser print. You might need to try whether or not it's going to be successful in black and white prints or color prints. You'll have to experiment with that. I've tried the black and white images from the office shop and they do not work for me. So I have found what works for me and that's what I'll be using. You can experiment with what works for you or you can try the option that works for me because truly it works every time. Now, it is really important the contrast of your photos because the image transfer process uses the dark areas of your image to resist the paint from the gel plate. So it leaves that image on the gel plate and the light areas of your print absorb the paint into the paper. So it doesn't leave that paint on the plate. That's how it creates the transfer process. So it's very important that you have strong contrast which means you don't want to use grayed out black and white photos with all the same tonal range because they won't transfer well. So number one, look at the photos that you want to transfer. If, it, if they're all one gray tone, it's not going to work. You're going to need to create much more successful images if you want your transfer to work well. Some of the vintage photos don't work so well because they don't have a clear enough detail on the image. You know, they're 60, 70 years old. Back then, <laughs> the reproduction value wasn't so great. So you will need to tweak uh, the sharpness and the contrast of the digital image before you print it out to do the image transfer. It's quite simple to do. Basic program on your computer or on your phone will actually do this for you and you want to set yourself up for success. Okay, so I'm going to use this beautiful photo of my aunt and see what background I can put her on. I'm just using a brown black, which is kind of a sepia color. I'm blending it all out here on the gel you just got to make sure you don't have too much paint 
on the gel plate. So that's a good image transfer and I'm going to put her straight onto this piece of paper. This is the simplest and most direct way to do the image transfer. Straight onto a piece of paper while the paint is still wet on the gel plate. So this is just a scrapbooking paper, quite affordable from the craft section of department store. It's um, not too thick, give it a good firm rub. And let's see how she came out. There we go. That's a beautiful image transfer. Very happy with that. That's in an Atelier brown black color, which is like a sepia tone. I thought the sepia tone would work well with the vintage style of photo that it is. You can tell it's a vintage photo. I've put it on scrapbook paper that has this kind of vintage look and color to it. So it suits it really well. That would make a fabulous collage. I could put that on a canvas add some more collage elements to it and it would be absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm really happy with that. That's a really successful image transfer. This is the most simplest technique of all the techniques that I experiment with. You, you put color laser printed image onto your gel plate and then while that paint is still wet, you put your paper down and transfer the image immediately onto the paper. That really is a simple technique. Now I have experimented with both black and white and color laser prints from my office stationery and the color ones work every time. Even if your original image is black and white, I still get them printed in color because the black and white copies that I have tried did not work at all. They completely absorbed the paint and they didn't do the transfer process. So if you're using black and white printed images from your um, office shop and it's not working, that is why you have to use a color printed image. Now, may not be the same for where you're getting yours done or with the image that you're using from your printer. I'm not sure. I'm just sharing with you my experiences with this is that the color laser print from the office shop works every time. That looks fabulous. I'll show you this technique and much, much more in the full art class on Skillshare. Join me in the studio there. The link is in the description and I look forward to creating with you again.